Hello Faux Fam, welcome back to my channel and welcome into my bathroom where today's video is going to take place right inside the shower. Except not this shower because this shower is so tiny and I just would rather shower in this big shower where I can like lay down and have a good time. So yeah, today we're gonna get real close and personal and you're gonna come with me into the shower for my shower routine and then I'm gonna talk about hair tips for long, luscious, thick, good hair like mine. I'm just kidding, but I get a lot of questions about my hair, so this is my hair care routine. Of course, I gotta say subscribe, turn on those post notifications, all of that, but also more importantly, as this video is posted April 30th, if you're watching this one's posted, or if you're watching it Friday, May 1st before 9 a.m., me and my husband are gonna be live on Twitch. Our Twitch is It's Faux. We're doing a 24-hour stream from 9 a.m. April 30th to 9 a.m. May 1st. If you are seeing this at that time, just go hop on even for like one sec. Say hey, tell the stream that you came from my video and we will definitely respond to you. We respond to every single person who follows our Twitch, who comments in our Twitch chat, all that. Anyway, without further ado, let's change to my swimsuit because we're not that close and then hop in the shower. Okay, I'm in my swimsuit now, ready to hop in the shower. But I'm gonna talk about a few things before I even get in. If I'm getting my hair wet, I will brush my hair before I get in the shower because brushing your hair when it's wet is not good for it. Plus, if you guys didn't know this, the more often you brush your hair, the better for it because you're taking your natural oils from your roots and bringing it down to your ends and your ends are what really need it. But if you have hair like mine that gets super poofy and not very cute when you brush it like this, like I don't think I'd ever wear it like this, my suggestion is to A, brush it before the shower and then you'll get it wet or brush it every single night and then put it into a braid and then you'll have like wavy hair when you wake up or if you're planning on wearing it into braids the next day or in a style where you don't need it to look all cute, then brush it. But if you have like super, super curly hair and that is just not even possible, it's fine. <laughs> not the biggest deal in the world. And of course, I just have to say this because I remember being like 12 and not knowing this. The best way to brush your hair is to start from the bottom and work your way up just like this. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows this by now, but if you don't, wet brush. Oh, oh, my sign is like not even on there anymore. Wet brush is the best brush. My hair is never soft when I don't use a wet brush. So 10 out of 10 recommend. So just one more thing before I hop in the shower. I actually only wash my hair once a week or twice a week if it's not feeling too good like halfway through the week. So usually Monday is my wash day. I'm gonna wash it in this video so I can show you guys how, like what I do. I know a lot of people are like, I can't wash my hair every other day or every three days because it gets oily and I literally used to be the same way, but I've trained my hair slowly over time and now I could probably go like two weeks, honestly, before it really started to get oily. You just have to drain it, start with every other day and then do every two days and then every three days. If I get my hair wet, I will condition it. So most of the time I hop in the shower, I don't even get my hair wet, put it in a bun, only wash it on Monday. But if I do get it wet, any other time I will condition it because it's just so good for your hair to condition it or I'll do a hair mask. And also since my hair is blue, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been upkeeping my blue hair. After blue, I'm gonna go blonde, so I'm kinda just letting it wash out. It's a semi-permanent dye, so it does like pretty much bleed out every single time I get it wet and I don't really want that for the summer. Okay, without further ado, let's get nice and personal and hop in the shower. I don't know if you can tell, but my shower is quite literally stained blue. I forgot my towel. So first to start off, I wash my hair. Shampooing is first on my list. So I use my Function and Beauty shampoo. I got this and I would recommend it, but I haven't seen any like huge differences in using this versus another shampoo. Both of my shampoos and everything are purple because I always have blonde hair pretty much. So I only own purple shampoo. I'm bald. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I feel like you probably can. If you can, then hi. I am shampooing my hair. Getting those roots real good, digging in. Not getting the ends as much because that's not good for your hair. This is fun. Hey guys, welcome to my shower. Probably should shave my armpits before I do this. I don't normally shampoo this intense. I'm just having fun. I'm also cold. I'm gonna get hotter. I'm the person that complains 
when this thing isn't shut like all the way so the fact that it's completely open is like stressing me out but it's fine okay wait i have a good idea for a thumbnail This is the most fun shower I've ever had in my life. I'm gonna wash out my shampoo. Got one in my eyes. Wait, okay, I'm gonna actually make myself fall. One second. How do I look? Not great, right? Yeah, I'm never gonna shave my head, so don't ever tell me to. So I splattered glue all over my shower from just shampooing. Okay, I'm starting to get really cold because like the fan is on, this is it shut. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. It's probably terrible audio. Also, I'm getting my floor like soaking wet. Hold on, I need a minute with the warmth. I'm back. Shampooing was supposed to be the fast part of my shower and it took forever. But anyway, now I'm moving on to conditioner. So when I am wanting to upkeep my blue and add blue into it, I actually use my Function of Beauty conditioner, but I have added my hair dye and just like diluted it with my conditioner. So every time I put in this conditioner, it's actually like adding blue to my hair. But when I don't really care about adding blue to my hair, I'll just use any old purple conditioner. I always let my conditioner sit for like five, 10 minutes, maybe while I shave my legs or take a little nap in the bath or something like that. And then if it is a hair mask day, I have this hair mask from Lucetta and I really like it. Honestly, I'm not particular about hair masks. If I find one, I'll use it. I also have overtone. I used overtone when I had purple hair, also when I had silver hair and it worked out really well for me. And although I've mentioned a lot of brands and most of the brands have sent me this stuff, this is not sponsored in any way by anyone. Um, I don't really want to add blue into my hair today. That's just the mess I'm not ready for. So we're just going to use purple conditioner. Conditioner. Hello. How do people do this to be all artsy? I can't do it. Um, here we go. So cute. <laughs> Oh, here, now we got it. <laughs> Just getting some conditioner. I guess people don't normally like take videos in the showers, but I actually remember a couple years ago, this was like a thing. Like everyone made shower routine videos. I thought it'd be fun. It's kind of like um, going to the pool together, but in the shower instead. Ooh, it's so soft. See, that's why you brush your hair before. Otherwise, this would be a mess. I feel like I could turn the fan off and it'd be fine. Hey, babe, could you turn the fan off in here? Then maybe they can hear me better. Hi, can you hear me better? So I have fake press-on nails, as you saw in my last video. The pink, both the pinkies fell off. Like, of all of them, the pinkies, what? It's so great having a supportive husband who's like, you want to make a video in the shower? Okay, make a video in the shower. Ah. Okay, so now I have my large comb that has chunks of my hair in it, right? Because it's not good to use an actual brush on your wet hair, apparently. So I always just use this bad boy. And when you have the conditioner in, it uh, just goes nicely. That's it. That's all I have to say. <sighs> but I feel like this, like brushing it with the conditioner in, is really what makes it so soft. This takes forever. <laughs> So now with my conditioner, I let it sit for like 5 to 10 minutes. I mean, it's already been in for a while just while I was brushing it out. I might just sit down, take a little bath, or usually if I'm shaving or if I'm washing my body. Today I don't really feel like shaving, but here are my shaving products because they're the best. So I use the Billy Razors. Once again, not sponsored. I love them. It's literally $9 a month and you get like four razor heads or something like that. And you can choose how often you get them. I think I do every other month. And then you don't have to worry about going to the store. You always have clean razors, which is so important. And they're really cute. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, come Actually, maybe I shouldn't shave today. I'm gonna shave. You guys get to shave with me. I'm gonna get some nice smooth legs while in the shower with all my best friends. Look at that. So smooth. 
why am I doing this, you might ask. And I just don't have an answer. I'm out of video ideas. And, you know, I imagine this being artsy, but I'm realizing I'm not that artsy of a person, you see. So everything just ends up being a joke. Whether it's my videos or my life, it's just everything's a joke. But I take life as a joke, so it's fine. Um, I wish I was tan for this video. That's something I regret now. This white background is not doing me any good. Okay, I have one smooth cap. I wish I could listen to music without being copyrighted, but that's what the vlog channel's for. Alright, I'll be back. I am back and I am so smooth and I'm ready to wash out my conditioner. I can already feel how like soft my hair is. Let's get to it. Another tip, especially if you have colored hair, and especially, especially if you have like cool toned blondes or silver hair, is to wash your hair in cold water. This moment right here is what I live for in my shower. Like my hair is so soft right now. All right, that's pretty much the end of my shower. Now I see how I take like 45 minute long showers because it's just so fun. Like, the shower is my happy place. The only thing I have left to do is wash my body, which I would prefer to do without my swimsuit on. So I am going to take off my clothes and say goodbye for now. Goodbye. All right, we are now in post shower care. So the first thing I do, I get out of the shower and I used to just use my towel, but that's not good. So I switched to a t-shirt for a while. Now I use this like microfiber thing. I have a lot of questions about my hair, so I'm gonna get into them kind of while I'm doing my hair. So at this point, I try to just let it do its natural thing. I have naturally wavy hair and lately like the bottom layer of my hair has been doing like actual like spiral curls. So that's really cute. So normally I get out of the shower and I start by putting an oil in it. So this is coconut milk oil. Guys, you just washed out all those oils. You gotta replenish them into your hair. Then I, this is Function of Beauty leave-in, but any leave-in conditioner will work. And I just put that mainly in my ends and just kind of brush that through with my fingers. Kind of just like letting my hair do its natural thing and not really putting anything in it, just letting it be itself. I just, I don't know, I like it like that. But this is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. I'm gonna put a little bit in it. And honestly, it's still pretty wet, but I'll just throw a little in and crunch it up. Then if I'm using heat, I obviously am gonna use a heat protector. You know what, we're just gonna go in the living room. Why am I blue? So the main reason my hair just like grows really easy and is thick and everything is because of my genetics. And that kind of sucks because then I can't give you guys advice because it's just like I was born with my hair this way. I dye my hair every like couple months. My hair takes it well. I've never had really like super bad damaged hair. It's always pretty healthy just because of my genetics. I'm sorry that I can't help you in that way, but I can answer some other questions. Like a lot of the things I talked about before I got in the shower helped when I was trying to grow out my hair. Some other things I did is I would do coconut oil mask at night. I would like massage coconut oil into my scalp. Like massaging your scalp, getting it stimulated helps with hair growth. So doing that every day helps. Making sure your ends are healthy is really important because you don't want your hair to grow out and break. So whether it's getting trims or putting in leave-in conditioner or oils, all that stuff actually helps. Obviously not putting heat on your hair is gonna help. That is a struggle. Just use heat protectant. Um, so a lot of people are asking how to take care of oily hair in between your washes when you're trying to wash it less <laughs> and my suggestion would be to do hairstyles like put it in braids or a messy bun or a ponytail something like that to where it's not as noticeable and over time you won't have to do that because it'll be fine and you can also just use dry shampoo I also for a while was using this stuff it's called a detox shampoo and it's like not actually shampoo it's also called like no poo shampoo and it's supposedly just to help not really use shampoo and Another thing that really helps is castor oil. I actually use this on my eyelashes, my eyebrows, and sometimes my hair scalp, and it makes your hair thicker, longer, grow faster, all that. People are asking about keeping up with color. I kind of talked about that in the beginning. Just know like what you need for your color. Color, whether it's gonna be like a toner type of shampoo and conditioner, like overtone. If you just need purple shampoo, honestly, you can look this up on the internet and figure out what you need to use for your hair.
The biggest thing for healthy hair is to just leave it alone. Only put natural stuff in it, like oils and all that. You need to let your hair heal, so stop doing bad things to it, and over time, it will get healthy, I promise. And that is me answering pretty much all the questions. I wish I had more to give, but there is no magic answer. Just like there's no magic answer for losing weight, there's obviously not gonna be a magic answer for anything that's healthy or natural, such as hair. I can't just say, oh, do this, and you're gonna have long, thick, amazing, beautiful, hair all the time. Hair isn't amazing all the time. It's frizzy and no matter how much stuff you do to make it non-frizzy, it can get frizzy. I live in Missouri where it is like 80% humidity in the summer. I don't even try with my hair in the summer. It's just whatever it wants to be. And I feel like the more you can accept the way that your hair just naturally is, the happier that you will be because you're not putting as much work into something that you honestly just can't change. Everyone's hair is different and that's what makes us who we are. Love yourself for who you are. Love your hair for who it is. There's my little love yourself of the day. It takes time, but eventually you'll love your hair for what it is. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that was kind of fun, a little bit weird. Don't really know why I did that. Why did why I why I made a video in the shower, but I just did. Okay, it just happened. I'm gonna go. Yep, I'm just gonna go. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and bye!